Hello everyone, how are you? I am Sai Chandu. Today's video session is about the OOPS concepts through Java. And uh, this is just a small recap of uh, OOPS concepts. And uh, at last we are going to have a small quiz about the OOPS. Mm, now coming to the video, in this video we are going to cover all these uh, topics. Uh, then the first one is related to object, class and objects. In Java every thing is depends on objects. Mm. First, a class is defined as a blueprint which consists of methods and variables that describes the behavior of an object. And the objects are created from these blueprints, we are like a new instance. This is an instance of a class. Uh, object represents the real life entities like a car, a person, a student, animal, uh, whatever may be. We can call everything as an object. In Java, object is created uh, is an instance of a class. So, uh, uh, a class is a blueprint uh, that can be used to create many objects like uh, from one class we can create uh, multiple objects like a uh, person 1, person 2, person 3 and so on. Everything in Java is associated with class and objects uh, along with the variables and methods. Uh, coming to example, uh, here we have a student class with the variables and a class. Uh, a class with a student, uh, here we have variables and uh, we have methods. Uh, this total will be con can be considered as a class. With the class, we can create the instance of a class called uh, object. Here, student s1 equals to new student. Here, we are creating object s1 and we are assigning the values to the s1 variables. This is a small example of a class and object. Now, in the points to be noted are uh, only one public class can be there for a file, and the class name should be same as the file name. This is the main point to be noted. Always, class name should be started with a capital letter mm, when an object is created using new keyword a space is allocated uh, for a variable in the heap memory and uh, the address uh, is stored in a stack memory now constructors constructors are special methods that are invoked automatically at the time of object creation when we create an object like a new student of new uh, person of something like that uh, the constructor will be called automatically uh, constructor have the same name as a class names and the constructor don't have written types not even void void is also a written type uh, but the constructor don't have any written types constructors are only called at the time of object creation uh, types of constructors uh, non parameterized constructors uh, constructor have no arguments are known as non constructor non parameterized constructors here as you can see for a student student uh, uh, constructor is created here we are not passing any parameters when the student class is created, uh, this will automatically run and uh, uh, we will be printing the output. Parameterized constructors, constructors which have parameters called parameterized constructors. We can see the student having in the student constructor, we are sending the parameter. So this is called parameterized constructor. Copy constructor. A copy constructor is a overloaded constructor used to declare and initialize object from an another object. It is like a creating an object with the help of another object here as you can see in the student constructor we are again sending the object of student class so we are copying the uh, another class object another object's uh, values to this uh, new optically created object access modifiers uh, access modifiers are like a scope of availability of data members to other classes and uh, methods here i go, will go with a small example uh, so consider uh, class as a, your room and uh, same package as a, your house and uh, different packages means other apartments or something mm, in your room you only you can uh, be you are allowed to do anything so that will be like a private only for you it will be accessible and default uh, is like a in your house you can do like a, other members also can do like a same package uh, but uh, subclasses other members also can be able to access a uh, these modifiers and um, when it comes to protected in um, apartments only the apartment uh, like uh, only the houses in the apartments are allowed to use that uh, like a uh, example auditorium something like that and uh, public it is like everywhere available uh, for suppose uh, publicly drinking water is available right or something like that uh, in public it can be accessed from everywhere and the protect is only accessible from the packages like a uh, uh, package of different packages but subclasses and uh, default can be accessed with uh, only the packages only within the same package and uh, private is only used for a same class and uh, 
वन थिंग टू मेंशन एक्सेस मॉडिफायर इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज एक्सेस स्पेसिफायर्स एंड नॉन एक्सेस मॉडिफायर्स दिस आर लाइक दिस डज नॉट चेंज द एक्सेसिबिलिटी ऑफ द वेरिएबल बट दे प्रोवाइड सम स्पेसिफिक प्रॉपर्टीज टू द एलिमेंट्स फॉर सपोज स्टैटिक स्टैटिक मेक्स द एट्रीब्यूट डिपेंडेंट ऑफ द क्लास आई विल डिस्कस द स्टैटिक लेटर फाइनल वेन वी initialize any variable or classes with the final it is a we it cannot allow, it will not allow any changes to the classes abstract method uh, makes a make the classes and methods abstract synchronize use to synchronize the threads uh, static with a uh, static keyword as i said before static is a like a class uh, attribute that depends on class mm, it is a uh, mainly used for memory management uh, for suppose uh, we are having a student class Uh, for a school and uh, how many student objects there may be the school name is same so we can uh, describe the school name as static and uh, use the uh, means uh, we can describe the school name as static and uh, once we initialize the school name uh, the school name will be initialized for all the objects mm, static when the the user can apply static keyword to variables methods and nested blocks uh, Starting methods can be called directly with the classes. Like uh, instead of uh, there is no need to create an object, we can just call with the class name that uh, uh, variable or method that uh, is initialized with a static keyword. Non-static methods can be called with the objects. Uh, uh, object uh, non-method uh, non-static methods uh, we cannot directly call with the class name, so we can, it has to be called with an uh, object. And static methods cannot be overridden. once the static method is uh, declared it is fine it we cannot override the static methods now coming to the main features of oops uh, when anyone asks what are the main features of the oops uh, these are these are the features that is called po- that are polymorphism inheritance abstraction encapsulation polymorphism means many forms so polymorphism is an ability to present the same interface with the different underlying forms like uh, as you can see poly means many and morphism means forms um it is like a same method with a uh, different uh, entities uh, there are uh, two types of polymorphism one is compile time por- polymorphism and uh, it is also called static binding and run time mor- polymorphism it is dynamic binding uh compile time polymorphism the polymorphism which is implemented at the compile time is known as compile time polymorphism uh the uh, it is also called as a method uh, overloading method overloading method overloading is a technique which allows you to have more than and one form of a function uh, there are like uh, two types of fun- two types the type of fun- the type of parameter passed for a function and uh, the number of parameters passed for a function like uh, for suppose here a display info for uh, first uh, method we are passing with uh, we are having all three methods have a same same method name but uh, the parameters passed here uh, when we compare these two here it is a string and here it is an int so when we pass with an integer value it will go to this method and if we ca- pass a string value it will go to this method and uh, number of parameters passed like if we send both it will go to this method uh, this is called method overloading and runtime polymorphism it is also known as a method overriding mm. it is a dynamic polymorphism a function overrides a, is an example of a polymorphism function overriding means a child class contains the method which is already present in parent class now let's go with an example here we are having a shape class with a method name area and uh, we are extending the shape class to a, another class called triangle here we are also using the same method name uh, so now we this is called overriding like uh, even if extends so we can call this and uh, we are uh, even if we have the same area we can uh, we are again calling the area means we are again creating this area this is called method overriding when we call the area now this uh, tra- with this angle uh, it will trigger this area this is called overriding inheritance is a process in which object acquires all the properties and behaviors of its parent objects uh, and uh, this can be implemented uh, with uh, uh, extends keyword of a super class inherits uh, methods and variables of the all the uh, all the methods and variables of a parent class uh, one super class and multiple sub classes is supported in inheritance but uh, one sub classes with multiple super classes like uh, i will show you with an example later it is not supported in java it is compile time and uh, uh, super keyword uh, 
represents the parent class and inheritance consists of five types single level inheritance multi level inheritance hierarchical inheritance hybrid inheritance and multiple inheritance um when it comes to single inheritance uh, this is example uh, there is a class a and uh, uh, we have extended class a to class b this is called single inheritance sorry multi level inheritance multi level inheritance here we are having a class a and uh, class a is extended to class b and class c is extended to class b this is called multi level inheritance hierarchical inheritance it is like a hierarchy we are having hierarchy if sir suppose we are having a class a class b is extend uh, class b and class c are uh, child classes of class a and class d and class e are child classes of class b and class c this is called some hierarchy means we are having hierarchy here and hybrid inheritance uh, the combination of uh, these uh, multi level in multi level inheritance and hybrid inheritance is uh, called hybrid inheritance multi inheritance it is like a uh, having two super classes uh, to one sub class and it is uh, not possible in java abstraction is a process of hiding details and showing only necessary things to the user you can add abstraction in two ways in java using abstract classes and using interfaces for example uh, when driving a car only we only concerned with uh, the start and stop of a car acceleration brakes so we are not concerned with the mechanism of how the brake is stopping the car and the acceleration is uh, moving the car and that all we just need to we just need main things abstract classes abstract classes are the classes which declares with abstract keywords and cannot be instantiated like uh, we cannot use a new keyword to create a object for the abstract classes few pointers to create the create abstract classes it contains uh, abstract and non abstract methods like uh, it contains abstract methods and non abstract methods it contains uh, constructors and static methods as well uh, we can have constructor for uh, this class and uh, we can have static methods too it contains the final methods which are which forces the subclasses to not change the method body of the method interface interface is 100 level up 100% abstraction it is like all the methods in the uh, interface is uh, abstract methods only uh, an interface in a sense blueprint of a class that contains static constants abstract methods with interfaces we can uh, add to multiple inheritance uh, like uh, before i have said a uh, multi level inheritance is not possible in uh, java so uh, we the interfaces we can uh, have multiple inheritance with a uh, interfaces you need to implement an interface to use its methods and constants so here we are creating an interface called bike and uh, it contains a abstract method called start now we can uh, ex uh, implement extend this uh, bike interface to class honda with a with a keyword called implements all the in all the interfaces are uh, able to extend with uh, only implements keyword encapsulation encapsulation is a process of binding your data with a code together uh, to form a single unit using getters and setters method you need to perform two steps to achieve uh, encapsulation declare variables of a class as private and uh, provide getters and setters to modify and view the variable values exception handling actually this is uh, not a concept of oops but uh, for a uh, interview purpose i am just uh, saying what we what are the exceptions and uh, exception handling is uh, normally exception means uh, when we think a uh, code make through an exception we will surround the code with a try catch block and uh, normally um, finally will be executed even if uh, exception is uh, thrown or exception is not thrown after try ca after try block the exception will be executed or uh, after catch block uh, the exception uh, the finally will be executed uh, and uh, the throw keyword is used to throw exceptions uh, throw the exceptions uh, throw keyword catches the means uh, it uh, throws the if any exception is occurred in the uh, method uh, the throws keyword uh, throws the exceptions to the calling method and uh, exceptions uh, exception handling normally exceptions are uh, three types like uh, checked exceptions and checked exceptions and errors checked exceptions except uh, the runtime exception and error exception all the throwable exceptions are uh, come under uh, checked exceptions for example iw exception sql exception all these are uh, checked exceptions 
అన్చెక్కడ ఎక్సెప్షన్స్ అన్చెక్క ఎక్సెప్షన్స్ లైక్ రన్ టైమ్ ఎక్సెప్షన్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ వైల్ రన్ టైమ్ ఓన్లీ దిస్ ఎక్సెప్షన్స్ కెన్ బీ థ్రోన్ లైక్ మ్యాన్ మేడ్ ఎక్సెప్షన్స్ లైక్ ఆటోమేటిక్ ఎక్సెప్షన్స్ బై జీరో నల్ మ్యా నల్ పాయింట్ ఎక్సెప్షన్ ఎర్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ బౌండ్స్ ఎక్సెట్రా రన్ చెక్ అప్సెట్ ఎక్సెప్షన్స్ నాట్ చెక్ ఇన్ కంపల్ టైమ్ ఎర్ బట్ చెక్ ఎట్ ద రన్ టైమ్ ఎర్ ఎర్ ఇస్ ఇర్రికవరబుల్ సమ్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎర్ ఆర్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ మెమరీ వర్చువల్ మెమరీ ఎర్ ఎక్సెట్రా అండ్ దిస్ ఇస్ ఎ స్మాల్ స్క్విజ్ సెషన్ దట్ జస్ట్ హెల్ప్ యువర్ సెల్ఫ్ విత్ ద ఆన్సర్స్ i am just uh, going to read what are the questions that's it uh, what are the main features of uh, oops uh, like uh, encapsulation uh, and all like uh, you can know, you know right uh, answer yourself uh, what is an object what is a class what are the different types of inheritance like uh, uh, multi level and single level what is the difference between multiple and multi level inheritance what is method overloading method overriding abstract class what is an interface constructor what is final variable what is this point uh, this is like a uh, represents the current class and uh, super uh, represents the parent class what is copy constructor copying the uh, object uh, with another object no what is super uh, class super class is uh, like a parent class to some other classes uh, for example vehicle is a super class for a car and what is sub class sub class is called child class Uh, what is uh, static polymorphism static uh, polymorphism uh, like static mapping is a uh, compile time polymorphism it is method overriding what is time polymorphism is it is also called uh, run time polymorphism and it is called method overriding and uh, can you call the base class method without uh, creating an instance uh, like uh, without creating an object can you call the uh, base class methods yes uh, we can call the base class methods without creating object that is uh, means if a class is containing static methods we can call the sh- i can directly call with a class names without creating an object and uh, if it has inheritance property like uh, if it is uh, extended we can directly call the methods uh, without using uh, without creating an object can you create an instance of an abstract class for an abstract class we cannot create an instance no an instance cannot instance of an abstract class cannot be created because this uh, a not complete implementation however instance of a subclass or inheriting the abstract class can be created like uh, if we uh, extends the abstract class uh, for that uh, class we can create the instance whether static methods can be can use or non static members static methods in uh, static methods cannot uh, call the non static members uh, to call the non static members we have to create an object and with that we can uh, call the static method how many instances can be created from for an abstract class we cannot even create an uh, instance for an abstract class so zero instances can be created from the uh, abstract class in other words you cannot create an instance um which con which oops concept can be reused by mechanism inheritance is a oops concept that can be used as a reuse mechanism like uh, we can uh, use uh, all the parent class methods variables etc i uh, hope this is a uh, useful for your preparation 